Before we get started with today's video, I have an announcement to make. After years of telling other people's stories, I finally released one of my own. My novel Eternal Rain is available now in both ebook and paperback format for those of you who are like me and prefer to collect physical media. You can grab a copy right now on Amazon through the link in the description of this video. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. The Lion Wars caused a lot of death on both sides and even more people are injured. Food storages are low and the drought has caused a lot of refugees to come to Lasalia, which is causing Larg a lot of problems. That's good for Gotana, but Orlando is pretty sure that it's only a matter of time before the same happens to them. He thinks it's about time that they start talking peace. But Gotana has no plans on doing that no matter how bad things get for the common people. Orlando is not happy about that, but there's nothing he can do about that since he's not in charge. While that's going on, Rams is heading for La Salia to let his brother Zalbag know that someone behind the scenes is manipulating everyone. And they're probably doing it for a very unpleasant reason. On the way to see his brother, Ramza runs into a man named Olan who accidentally wandered into a group of thieves' his hideout, and he's in the process of getting murdered, so Ramza does his usual hero thing and saves him. When the fighting's done and Ramza introduces himself, Olan is surprised to hear that he's a Beowulf since most of that family are kinda dicks, but he's glad that he ran into the one that's not. He's not heading to Lasalia though, so he and Ramza go their separate ways, although Olan is pretty sure that they'll meet again. In Lasalia, Zalbag's not all that interested in Ramza's conspiracy theories, but he is surprised that Ramza thinks Dystar kidnapped the princess. The two of them start arguing, but they're interrupted when one of Zalbag's knights comes in claiming that Thunder God Sid and his troops have broken through the Dagula Pass. That's a pretty big deal since they didn't know his forces were anywhere near the pass, so Zalbag leaves Ramza to go and deal with this new problem, and Ramza decides to go ahead and leave the castle. He was planning on leaving without telling Alma, but she sees him trying to sneak out of the back, so he has to talk to his sister. She's surprised to hear that Delida is alive and helped kidnap the princess. Ramza had thought he was working for Goltana, but he thinks he's involved with a third party instead. Unlike Zalbag, Alma believes Ramza about Dice Dog, and since Ramza is fighting against him, she wants to go with him. His life isn't exactly easy, so he doesn't want to bring her along, but their discussion is cut short when Zalmo, a heretic hunter from the church, shows up. Ramza has been branded a heretic and is required to stand trial for killing the Cardinal and stealing the Holy Stones. Since their version of a trial is similar to the way they tried to get witches to confess in Salem, whether Ramza is found guilty or innocent, he'll still get executed, so Alma wants him to run. That makes Zalmo attack, but Ramza beats him so he runs away. Ramza has no idea how the man found out about the Holy Stone, but he's pretty sure it has something to do with whoever Delida is working for. Alma has actually seen one of the Holy Stones herself, and she'll tell Ramza where it is if he agrees to take her with him. Since she's probably been labeled a heretic too since she helped fight off Zalmo, and he doesn't exactly trust Dystar to keep her safe, Ramza agrees to bring her. Since he agrees to bring her, she lets him know that she saw one of the stones at the Orban Monastery, so it's time to head back there to retrieve it. Alma wasn't the only person who had seen the stone at the monastery, because when she and Ramza get there, the place has already been attacked. A lot of the people are dead, and Simon, the old man who leads the monastery, is badly injured. He's still alive though, and he lets Ramza know that they've had the Holy Stone at the monastery since Princess Ovelia was brought there, as a sign of proof that she was a part of the royal family. The whole situation is so dangerous that he doesn't think Ramza should get involved, but he's already in way too deep to just run off and hide. The high priest and his people are trying to regain power by weakening both Larg and Goltana's military, as well as how the general public view the royal family. Once the people are tired of the fighting and desperate for a savior, the church will send out their Zodiac Brace to play the role of hero and get the people to follow the church. Rams is going to go and try to stop them from getting the Virgo Stone, and he wants Alma to take care of Simon while he's gone. He leaves the two Zodiac Stones with her just in case he doesn't make it out before he heads deeper into the monastery. The church has sent a lot of people led by a man named Islud and another man that Rams ran into a long time ago, Wegruf. Islu thinks that Ramza should join them like Delida did since he's working against his brothers too, but he doesn't seem to know about the demonic power of the so-called Holy Stones or that the Cardinal turned into a monster. Once it's been made clear that Ramza won't join him and that Islu isn't strong enough to beat Ramza in a fight, he retreats and takes Alma with him as a hostage while leaving Wegriff to deal with Ramza. The man wanted the chance to get revenge on Ramza for killing his sister anyway, so he's more than happy to do it. Unfortunately for him, Ramza is stronger than he is, and he wounds him so badly that he can't escape with Islude. While he's dying from his injuries, the Zodiac Stone that he's holding starts to talk to him, and it offers him immortality if he gives it his body. Since he really didn't want to die, he agrees, and his body is merged with the demon Vilius. 
Ramza wants to fight him, but since Wegriff only just got his new powers, he teleports away to learn more about what his new form can do before he finally kills Ramza. Simon comes crawling out of the building and he hands Ramza a book written by Germanic, one of St. Ajora's disciples. The book had been lost, but Simon found it, and it explains the true history of the Zodiac Braves and proves that the church's religion is a crock of crap. He thinks Ramza can use the book to discredit the church and make them give his sister back, but he won't get to see it because he dies from his injuries. With the book in hand, Ramza heads off to try and track down Islude so he can hopefully save his sister. And that's where we're going to stop for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, comment, share it, and subscribe. Grab a copy of my novel on your way out, and I'll see you all next time.